Hi, how are you? I'm fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm also doing great. Uh, did you forget that we had a meeting at five o'clock? I'm really sorry. Actually, you know, I mean, my kid was really cranky, so that's okay. the reason I had to, you know, take care of her. And okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay, you are. What is your name? My name is Shweta, ma'am. Uh, Shweta, please introduce yourself. Sure, ma'am. My name is Shweta, and I am born in Maharashtra and raised in Hyderabad. And uh, come towards my education, I've completed my graduation in chemistry. Later, I've worked in a PPO for a few months, and also as a mother teacher in pre-primary school. And now I'm a full-time homemaker, and uh, also I am, uh, you know, teaching uh, moms and teachers uh, phonic phonetics. That's like a freelancing work I'm doing right now. And also, I've just started a YouTube channel, so I'm working even on that too. Okay. And uh, how many children do you have? I have five years old kid. She is doctor. I have a doctor. Yeah, she is five years. Only one. Okay. So you have worked in a. BPO. Actually, I'm very nervous right now. So so you are feeling nervous. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Relax, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about the mistakes. Actually, you speak English well. Yeah, I must say. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about your husband. Yeah, he works in a bank, uh, and also he do some kinds of tradings and all. He's also into that, and also in about insurance and. So he also do about that thing. So he's in different fields, but yeah. Yes. Okay, he does stock trading, right? Yes, right. He does. Yeah. So you live in a nuclear family or a joint family? Uh, nuclear with my mother-in-law. Me, we, me, my husband, my daughter, and my mother-in-law. We four sleep together. What does it call, ma'am? When you know? sorry, sorry yeah. to interrupt. I just wanted oh. to ask if you are with your. Yeah, if you are with your, uh, you know, mother-in-laws or stay with us, what is ca- it's called a joint family or is it called a nuclear family? Actually, it will be called a joint family because only a couple and their kids. If uh, okay, so yeah, couple and kids are there, then it is a nuclear family. So even if your father-in-law is not there, even then it is a joint family. Okay, fine. Yeah. So it's a joint family. Yeah. So why did you leave your job? You are currently a homemaker. So why did you leave your job? It's because I was not able to, you know, uh, handle both. Or I was not even able to give hundred percent at my job place because I was uh, not able to give in the both the places. I was not able to give hundred percent. So I thought better to choose one way so that I can give my hundred percent at just as a being a housewife. But I don't want to sit at home and you know just uh, be a homemaker. So I thought you know why not to start a YouTube channel? I'm really sorry. That's your five year old. Yeah, yeah, she is. So you left your job after your daughter was born, or after you got married? After my daughter was born, like it was uh, when I went for her admission. I just they uh, they approached me that would you like to uh, do the job? Yeah. We have a vacancy, so I thought it's why not to you know uh, grab that opportunity, and that's uh, I worked there. It was around right, five months, and then I thought you know yeah. it's better to you know leave the job and yeah. be a homemaker. So, which was that job? Yeah. yeah, it was a primary teacher, her class teacher only. Okay. So it was like that. So yeah. while doing the yeah. job, you were not able to take care of your baby, right? That was the problem. Yes, yes, it was. What's even, her name? Even not about only the, her name is Prisha. Your background is blurred. That is why I can't see her face, but I know that there okay. is a baby. You left the job after your daughter was born because you thought you were not able to take care of your house as well as your baby. After a f- gap of five years, now you have started your YouTube channel, right? Yes, already have been uploaded few videos, and uh, now I'm thinking to start a conversation videos also. Mm-hmm. So yes, working on that because it's like you know, even I can improve for myself also. Even I can improve my English as well as I can help others too. So that's the point of view and. I'm thinking to start that now. You have uh, dropped the idea of doing a job. Oh uh, yes, because I have tried. Like on my plate, there were different varieties. Like first, I have tried my BPO job. It was not able. I was not able to work there. Then I've tried, you know, mother teacher. Then even I have tried um, uh, taking classes online for kids. You know, spoken English classes also I have tried, but the kids are like they come after three, and even my daughter come after three. So it's not possible to take the classes online. Uh, for kids after three, because she will be around like how she just discovered us right now, the same way she do. So I thought, you know, this is the comfort zone like of the YouTube, which I can do on my, you know, comfort zone on the same. I mean, uh, timing also is matchable. When I am free, I can just work on. So that's the reason I started this. 
So what was your experience with the BPO job? That's a call center job, right? Yes, it is. So uh, the the job was regarding it was a US based company and uh, it was a travel agency and we had to uh, talk to the you know the customers who had the travel I mean holiday packages and all. So we have to convince them to upgrade the uh, plane I mean class work and all that kind of things was there. It was really good. I uh, I was able to you know connect with those native speakers and also I was able to know how they speak and the tone they use. Not I'm not I don't. Don't say that I can. I have got that tone or something, but I was able to understand at least because before starting the job, I was not able to understand what they used to speak because they used to speak very fast. But in the after working, uh, I came to know how they speak, how they you know what actually they can. I mean, sorry, I'm a bit nervous. So yeah, so I came to, uh, to know a lot of things. So you used to speak to people who lived in the US. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Great. Their their travel package. Yes. Yes. And and customer service. So we used to give a service for them if they have any problem. We used to look after that and we used to solve their problems, whatever they have, you know, holiday package problems. Yeah. Okay. So you like that more, or you like teaching more? To be honest, I I would say that I would like the BPO job because I uh I was able to connect with a lot of new people. I was able to you know talk to new people because if the teaching job, it's a kind of responsibility, I guess I can say, and uh, uh also it's a big responsibility or teaching job. Whereas compared to BPO, it was a new experience I would get every day. Uh, so yes, I would like to say that I <laughs> love the BPO one words. Good one. Tell me some interesting incident, like you know, some interesting conversation that you had with someone living in the US. Okay, so it's like it's like been like eight to ten years now. I've left the job, okay. so but still I would like to tell you one incident. Once what happened was, uh, I have upgraded that person's uh, plan, but. At the after I just take them, I mean, I've, after I just uh, said yes, and I've just done all the process which is which I have to do. Then the next moment he said, "No, I'm not interested," and we have to re- refund the money back. And I was literally very scared. I was not able to understand what to do now, but still I managed to you know convince him and you know to to tell him to yes, it's fine. And he was not even ready to you know. uh was not ready to upgrade it he was like i just uh, made up my mind now and i don't want that upgradation and all but still i tried to convince and you know after a lot of hard work after a lot of you know convincing him he was like okay fine for now i am it so that was one incident which i'll never forget so okay that's yeah, great that's amazing so you were supposed to upgrade their hotel booking or flight booking or oh, flight booking okay flight was booking. flight Okay. Yes, upgrade their yeah seating. Yeah. Okay. You are supposed to upgrade their flight booking. Yeah, like economic to uh the economic other level, to yeah. business. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. I see now. I forgot everything. It's been a long, long time, so it yeah. happens. So that was long back, huh? Now, are you enjoying your life as a homemaker? Do you love to do the household chores? Ah, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do a kind of. I mean, yes, I I do enjoy it, but I I try to find something new in this. so that i can i i actually in my life i find a way where i can find my happiness so in this way i'm going to so yeah i just love love to go with flow so yes i am enjoying actually uh, household chores become monotonous because you know every day you have to eat every day you have to do the dish do the laundry and every day everything is same so they feel exactly. monotonous and when you are doing something professionally then you have uh, a sense of accomplishment accomplishment and you feel that you have achieved something like that day yeah. when you were able to convince that person and people yes, exactly. who are educated and have already done well professionally earlier they feel that uh, mm-hmm. even if they are loving their household chores they feel that something is missing and their talent is going to exactly. is that so yeah yes yes it do it do like we feel like every day the same thing same thing we feel that we we want something new i mean we can't sit this we do the same thing so yeah it do does happen sometimes do you feel that if you had been in that job uh, since then you would have been at such a high level right now and you would have you know climbed the corporate ladder uh to be honest i would like to say here that if I would have been in that job. I would have missed my kids. You know, yeah. the interaction with her, the time with her. I would have missed that. So it's fine. Now where I am, it's fine. No, not any issue. Yeah. Actually, I also did the same thing. 
I was doing very well. I was working as a software developer, and my daughter was born. Okay. I worked till my seventh month of pregnancy, and when she was born, mm-hmm. I was not ready to leave her with someone else. My mind was not ready. You know, I was a very very career oriented person, but. at that point i don't know what happened to me that i was not ready to leave her with a maid or my in-laws or anyone i wanted to take care of her myself so i also took a break and i was thinking of starting to work again after 2 3 years but then i conceived again and then i had another baby after 3 years so it was a long gap mm-hmm. of about 7 years then i started working again and now i feel so great that i spent those crucial and precious years with my kids and i saw them growing right. up i saw them uh, you know crawling i saw those when they were toddlers i saw them crawl i saw yeah. them take their uh, first steps and i was able to yes. feed them everything so i am so glad uh, i could have been working so well professionally if i had never left the job but i never regret that i am also really really happy that i because that time can never come back and i am so happy yes, that exactly. i made the most of that time true It reminds me of my story but, but, but we can earn we can be at any position at any time but those moments will never come back never right come back. yeah <laughs> and if that guilt yes. stays with us that will stay forever because that will never come back exactly yes, yes. okay yes. so now your daughter has started going to school Yes, she is in UKG right now, and yeah, she is starting. And very soon she will, uh, you know, come back very late, like two, three, in the afternoon. Yes. Then you yes, can yes, think of yes, doing yes. a job you know, in a school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Work in a school. Yeah. Then you can also come back at the same time, and she comes back. Yes, but I just want her more to, you know, like first standard, second standard. Let her, you know, grow yeah. up more, a little more. Then right. I can think about. So does she trouble you a lot? Is she a naughty child? Uh yes, she is. She actually likes to do what Mama says. Like she, she likes to you know uh, copy what the Mama do and all. She likes to do that things. So, all okay. yeah, she kind of she just trouble Mama. She don't trouble anyone else, but she like loves to trouble Mama. When I ask her why you trouble me, because I love to trouble you. She says that way. Okay. She likes to trouble <laughs> you. Yeah. Okay, she's closer yeah. to you or her Papa, her father. Her Papa. Okay. Yes, her father. Is that her father? Close. She's very close. Yes, she is mama. Daddy is daddy is girl. She is. Yeah. And where does your family stay? I mean, your parents, your siblings. Yeah, they stay in Hyderabad, and uh, I am in Maharashtra. Like, yeah. So you keep visiting them? Yes, once in a year, a couple of time. In a year, a couple of time, I do visit them. So your daughter, she uh, sleeps on time, or she keeps you up at night? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, before she used to keep me up, but right. Now, like she will be still right. I'll still she will be like eleven, ten thirty. She will sleep at that time timing. So it's actually very late. But yeah, she do sleep like. So like how do you make videos for your YouTube channel? Only when she's in school or she's sleeping now? Yes, she's whenever she's in school. That time only I try to you know cover up or whatever the editing and all in the from twelve to two. It will be like my time, and in that time I would like. to you know do work for myself so yes what kind of videos are you uploading on your channel uh regarding english itself uh, because before i have tried different things like you know uh, motivational videos then i have tried about business i i did not wanted to show my face actually because okay. i was a kind of a shy yeah <laughs> i was a shy, shy so i was not ready to do that so i was giving a voice over and i was trying that but it was not working well so and now when i came to know that you know the people do you know conversation and all they do upload them i thought that it's like a both combo of mine that the passion for youtube and as well as to learn something english language to be more uh, fluent and all so it will be a combo and i can learn in both the ways so mm-hmm. that's the reason i started and talk, conversation is fine i can do that but direct with you know recording ourselves it's so difficult for me it's a very challenging for me that's the reason i chose this way and started working on this yeah you haven't recorded any solo videos in which you show your face yes yes because i tried it but i i just uh, took a animated face and then tried but it came out very disaster kind of <laughs> thing so i just stopped doing that right now okay so you have been posting videos in which you don't show your face or the conversational yes. videos 
okay yeah right now i'll just it will be uh, that your your video will be like a third video of conversation yeah so how is your channel doing right now it's quite good because the comparing to the channels which i used to do just voice over comparing to this it's doing good like i can say that's great so you're enjoying creating content on youtube Ah uh, yes, I do because I love. I mean, to, from two thousand eleven, I was I I started watching YouTube and I was like thinking about that to do something to. So it took me so long to you know to really to start something. Okay. So yes, so since two thousand eleven, you have been thinking of doing something on YouTube. Okay. Yes, exactly. And did you start your channel? Oh, uh, this one was like one month back. I started. I mean, this was just a channel which I created, but I never posted. But I started from one month to posting on that channel. So there were, I used to think that uh, to start a, a you know positive thinkings like that to start something on that. So but now this this I thought so I started with this con content. Yeah. So what all are you doing to improve your English? Uh, to be honest, right now because I don't have any environment to speak in English with uh, nearby. Because when I used to teach in schools, also there there also teachers will you used to not speak that fluent, or because principal used to tell me to please go ahead and teach the teachers to how to you know speak better. But that so it was like that. So right now I'm doing this conversation only to you know to improve myself. So this is the only way I can. I thought. to you know continue with you live in maharashtra there is no uh, english environment in your neighborhood uh not actually because this is a small town kind of thing it's okay. actually a small town so mm -hmm. here it's mostly preferred to be you know talking marathi and yes there's no much in, you use some yeah. app also to you know uh, enhance your english uh not actually i don't use any app there are so many apps available where you can talk to co learners on audio calls and uh, mm -hmm. you can talk to tutors also but uh, the ones mm -hmm. in which you talk to tutors are chargeable and the ones in which you talk yes. to learners are free so yes, that yes. way you can you know do your english speaking practice every day because speaking is also equally important yes exactly yeah, yeah. so do you do speaking practice every day Yes, I do. That like I just found some uh, groups on Skype where you can just have an audio okay. call with with the co learners. So I just started with that thing right now, and okay. I'm doing that way. Yeah. So you are in a Skype group. Yes, That's I am. Great. So you practice on Skype whenever you get time. Yeah, exactly. You have any questions for me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I wanted to ask you like how to you know be consistent on one thing if we want to do something in our life. Like in my case, I am not consistent. I do some, for example, if I do any one particular thing, but if any negativity comes in between, I just stop there. So what what is that one? I mean, can you give some suggestion how to overcome that thing and you know continue that process yeah, of actually, whatever uh, we are doing? Your goal should be clear. if your goal is clear mm -hmm. and if you want to really take up youtube as a career then your goal should be clear that yes i have to improve my english as well as i am determined to help other people improve their english then whatever obstacles come you have to just remind yourself that this is my goal i want to do big in this so you will have to keep reminding yourself because I, when i had started my youtube channel uh it didn't pick up for first two years can you believe that okay for first two years i had only 4000 some i mean 4500 subscribers and my channel was not monetized even after two years but i kept going and every day i used to have second thoughts that should i now quit should i now quit but i had declared to everyone that i am working on this my kids were looking up to me my mother was expecting my mother used to ask me sometimes when will you start earning when will you make it big in youtube so i was thinking that yes i can't go back i have to do this for everyone's sake so you will have to keep your goal clear whatever you want to do in life yeah. even if it is youtube or whatever so mm -hmm. that's what will keep you consistent with obstacles yeah. will come in your way and you will definitely feel demotivated i used to get demotivated so many times but yes it do have happened to me so oh, i used to think no i have to keep going and i have come a long way when i have done this much then i have to keep going if it works it's okay but i used to get some good comments so i was thinking even if i don't get anything monetarily at least i am able to help mm -hmm. these people who are leaving positive comments 
so that is why i kept going so there should be some motivation apart from money also if it is just money yeah, then yeah. so it's very difficult yes even like right just now i i mean i've just uploaded few videos and then i got a good comments like a couple of comments was good and i was like yes i can do something like we get a, a bit by not a, a motivation and we just Correct. go forward of thing yeah. yes even i was i by chance i just messaged you it was like like i thought that you will not even reply on instagram and i was like let's try why not just try and i just messaged and i so glad that you replied and and even at 3 o'clock i was ready and i was like okay i will have no. and one when, when my at 5 you told my kid was cranky i was like okay shit it will be not happening to today i guess but again i asked let's see ask let's ask her like 5 minutes can you give me ma'am so i was like okay hoping for the best and it happened i'm really so glad that i had a yeah, conversation actually, with yeah. you that's great so you thought of doing something and it actually happened yes it will be yeah. so much like yeah. we get so much joy when it happens like yes Actually, at five o'clock when I didn't see you online uh, till five five, then I thought maybe you are not going to join and you have forgotten because some people forget it. Then I had uh, given that slot to someone else and I was about to oh. join that other person, but then suddenly no. you messaged. Okay. Otherwise, okay. I might have given You're that so slot nice. to someone else, and I don't know when we would have connected. It was really nice, ma'am. I mean, like I really actually I started watching your videos from few days, and I I was thinking that I have to you know uh, conversate. I have to talk to ma'am. I have to talk to ma'am. Do you believe in you know ma man or uh, telepathy? Telepathy, and also it's like manifesting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it called manifesting? Yeah, so it was like yeah. that. Yeah, manifesting, right? Yeah. Okay. So I thought that it's working. Yeah. Yeah, I do believe. Yes. to some extent so it just helped me in, in this process so it was such a lovely conversation shweta you spoke really well and best of luck for your channel as well as uh, for your english learning journey okay thank you very yeah. much thank you very much ma'am it was really nice talking to you okay, sure ma'am bye yeah. bye ma'am